Over the past few years, our family has grown. I have three new sisters-in-law, and we're adding three new babies to the Kincaid clan. Then our cousin Ramsey, who is more like our little sister, is getting married next month. In just a couple of weeks, we'll be adding Deacon to our list of added family members. Is this where all the cool kids hang out? My oldest brother, Oren, asks. I watch as he pulls a chair out for his pregnant wife, Jade, and waits for her to sit before taking one of the open seats next to her at the table. You know it. Palmer, my brother Brooks's wife, smiles, rubbing her belly. Not much longer, Jade tells her. I know. I can't believe we get to meet her in a handful of weeks, Palmer replies. It feels like we've been waiting to meet her for years. Brooks leans over and kisses his wife. We all laugh. If there was ever a man excited to be a father, it's Brooks. That's not saying that Declan and Oren are any less excited, but Brooks, he tells anyone who's willing to listen that he and his wife are expecting their first baby. My big brother is a softie. Then again, out of the nine of us, three are married, and every single one of them is a big old teddy bear when it comes down to their wives. Tink! I call out to my best friend, Alyssa. I call her Tink because she's a tiny thing compared to me. She just walked around the corner of the house. She's laughing at something the twins are saying. Shaking her head at them, she turns to head in our direction. Come, sit. I pat the empty seat next to me. I'm not sure that I should. She looks around the table at all the ladies. Is it something in the water? Should I be concerned? She laughs. Depends. Palmer leans forward. Is there someone you haven't told us about that could put you in this position? She motions to her protruding belly. I think about Palmer's question. As far as I know, Alyssa isn't seeing anyone. The thought of her being pregnant by a man I've never met doesn't sit well with me. I sit up a little straighter in my chair, ready to ask her, but relax as soon as I see her roll those big brown eyes. Alyssa laughs again, shaking her head as she pulls out the chair to take a seat. My sisters-in-law have recently been including her in their girls' nights, and I like that they're close to her. Alyssa and I have been friends since kindergarten. She was the shy, quiet one, while I was the rowdy one that never stopped talking. Our teacher thought sitting me next to Alyssa would shut me up. <laughs> Little did she know, I kept talking until the cute girl with the big brown eyes and pigtails became my best friend. We've been inseparable ever since. She raises her brows when I stand. Where are you going? To make you a plate. We already ate. I'm fine, Sterling. I ignore her and quickly make her a plate of her favorites, grabbing her a glass of lemonade and placing them both in front of her. She tilts her head back. Thank you. You're welcome, I tell her, taking my seat.